Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and today we'll be looking at some straps on the 9-4 Watch's successor, but I'm actually recording this introduction after I recorded the video because I've had some conversation with the owner about some issues I've run into with uh, trying straps on this watch. So uh, please stay until the second ending. So there'll be two introductions and there'll be two endings to the video and I'll explain in further detail then. So with that said, let's go on to the uh, video. Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and today we're going to try the 9-4 watches successor on a variety of different straps. I have I don't know at least 10 straps here I'm going to try. Maybe I'll try them all I don't know but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to do any NATO straps. I don't think this watch would really look all that good on a NATO strap. I don't know we'll just see how it goes um, as we um, move along here. So let me put it on wrist uh, with the bracelet and then we'll I'll show it here on the straps that I've chosen. I have a couple leather straps. I have a, a two-piece NATO strap, so I guess that will kind of give you the NATO strap look. And then I have a bunch of FKM rubber straps that I just recently picked up. Well, I had them for a while, but I just recently uh, unboxed them. So anyway, here we are up close. I think I'll just stay at this viewing angle, or this um, magnification for the whole video. Okay, there's a quick look at it on the bracelet. So let's um, take this off and then we'll try it on the first strap. Well, I gotta take the bracelet off first. So let me do that off camera and I'll be right back. Well, since I'm here, I guess it'll be a quick look at the watch head uh, case by itself. Then I'm using uh, all quick release straps, so it should make things go quite a bit easier here. Actually, let me just put the first one on on camera here. But I think if you had any kind of a straight link bracelet, that would work uh, for this as well too. It's a good looking movement. Actually, we can take a close look at this too, since we have the case back off. Miota 9015 movement. And that does have a custom rotor that's engraved with the 9.4 logo there. So, all right, let's zoom back out and we'll put it on the first choice. Uh, let's see here. All right, so the pointy part goes at the bottom. I can never remember. Mm, interesting. Tight fit, perhaps. You know, I might have to do this off camera. Let's try the other end of this real quick here. Yeah, let me do this off camera. I'll be right back. Well, I'm thinking a NATO strap probably wouldn't work on this anyway. Not much clearance here with this case design for a NATO strap to wrap around there. And this seems to be just a bit too thick to get the spring bar on, well, in the, in the lug holes here. So yeah, I guess we won't be trying that strap. Let's try one of the, yeah, geez, I don't know. Let's try one of the suede ones real quick. One of the suede leather straps. This might be a short video. Yeah, wow. Huh, well, I was not expecting this. Yeah, these thicker straps just don't have any chance of getting in there. Man, that's a bummer. I really wanted to try this out on here. I think this one would have looked good. Maybe, I don't know. I think that one will look good. And then maybe uh, this other guy here. 
I think this would look really good actually. So maybe if you have a, a thinner leather strap, it's fairly thick there. Yeah, I think that would look good. All right, let's um, let's try some of these rubber strips that I just picked up. I don't know. I like orange, but maybe orange and green is not the best thing. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Let's try it out. Let's see if it fits. Let's find out. Uh, let me pause it. I'll be right back. I think I'm starting to get a cramp in my hand. Uh, it's just not it's just not fitting in there. There's a little bit too much material material around that spring bar and I can't can't quite get it in there. I think that might look pretty good too. I don't know. I just like orange, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think with these combinations. Maybe you can find a strap that'll work. I don't think it would work either. It's too much, too much material around that spring bar. I'm kind of tempted to try a NATO strap, but nah, I don't think it'll work. I think I gotta find some. I could use those spring bars. Anyway, let me. Man, well that's a bummer. Could be the lamest uh, strap show a video on YouTube. I think this will look good too. It's not exactly the same green, but I think it'd look pretty good. It would fit. Yeah, it's, the color doesn't, I mean, it's the same mold, right? It's just different colors. Well, man, that's very disappointing. Let me try this one, and now I'll, I'll be right back. Well, this uh, didn't work either, so sorry about that. I uh, a little disappointed here, really, but I think this would look good too. The gray with the with the green. Uh, it, it surprises me. I, every watch I try a gray uh, NATO strap or, well, I just got this, but I also have a gray suede strap in 22. Every watch head I try a gray strap on, it looks good. So just an idea there. Then let's try the, I have a black strap here. I'm going to send a note over to the owner of 94 watches and I'm going to, I'm going to make a suggestion. Maybe, and I just happen to have this by the side anyway because um, I want to try the rubber straps on this watch. I have a strap to show for this one maybe a year ago, I don't remember, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest maybe making the lugs more like this where they're open on top. You don't quite get the integrated look, but you do have the opportunity to try uh, to change out the straps on it. Kind of similar ish looking, I guess. This one's, um, I think this is 30, 36 or 38. I don't exactly remember, but this one's for sure 40. I just did a video on this one here, so I do remember that. And it still gives you that integrated bracelet look.
pause the video real quick. All right, just to give you an idea what I was trying to do with the successor to here, with these FKM rubber straps from AliExpress. A little bit of wobble on them. Just the tips of the spring bars aren't quite thick enough, but yeah, I think that would be a good combination with FKM rubber and a nice shaped watch case like these two here. So anyway, I guess a little bit of a preview for this guy. I'll get around to this one eventually here. All right, then just a quick look at black. I don't like this quite as much as the gray or the green. And then it's kind of a wild card. I really don't wear these. Um, I did just get the white straps, but I would not normally wear a white strap. But dang, that looks good. I like that. I like the white with the green. So let me know which of these is your favorite uh, combination. Unfortunately, I couldn't get even on the watch head. So I'm not even sure what I'm going to call this video. Strap show fail. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and uh, makes my day. And um, as always, thank you for taking the time and thank you for watching. All right, so this is the second closing, and this is the previous version of the successor. I don't have the Gen 2 anymore. I shipped it out to the next uh, person in line to review the watch. So the owner showed me some videos of him trying uh, multiple different straps on his prototype of the successor 2. Uh, very quick to respond, uh, which I really appreciate um, trying to... You know, work together and, and uh, see if I can help with some suggestions and whatnot but uh, it looks like maybe the issue is just the thickness of these straps uh, I did try to push them in by hand and then I use my spring bar tool to try and push well that's not really a good example but so I had one of the spring bars in one of the lugs and then I was trying to push the other one down with the spring bar tool and get it in with the uh, in the other hole there, but it wasn't quite working for me. Now what he said he did is he held it at an extreme angle to put it in the watch. So I would imagine I was just I was putting it in like this and then pushing it down. Looks like he was had it had it more vertical like this to put it in. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that uh, it is possible to add aftermarket straps. It looks like it may be a tight fit but uh, it is possible, so maybe it was a uh, user error on my end. I don't know, but I just wanted to give you this update so that um, you're aware of that. All right, so as always, uh, again, as always, thank you for taking the time, and thank you for watching. Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we'll be looking at some straps on the 94 watches successor, but I'm actually recording this introduction after I recorded the video because I've had some conversation with the owner about some issues I've run into with uh, trying straps on this watch. So uh, please stay until the second ending. So there'll be two introductions and there'll be two endings to the video and I'll explain in further detail then. So with that said, let's go on to the uh, video.